Big strong science man. Big strong science man. Big strong science man. Big strong science man. Ah! Oh god. Hey Houston, I got that grenade you ordered. I'm a little concerned about the logistics of this. Uh, what's going? On? Ooh, what are you wearing? Boom. Did I have my tiny sombrero on again? Yeah. Oh, yep. Sorry. It, I know it's weird, but it helps me think. Okay. Yeah. But I'm happy you're here, Jake. Because as you can see, I'm on the verge of a massive scientific breakthrough. As we know, science is knowledge, okay? Now, when you're looking at the board, what is the root of sour, Jake? Sweet. Wrong. Wrong. A lot of people think that, but that's not the answer. As we know, in common scientific knowledge, sour is the perception of acid. Uh, okay? Uh -huh. Now, we know this, but what does sour plus mouth plus me H bones equal? A good time. Also wrong. <sighs> Dead. Dead. Dead what? I mean, sour mouth, me. Dead mouth skin. Oh. Okay. Well, uh, how do you plan to sh prove that? <laughs> I'm happy you asked. Take a step into my lab. Thank you for stepping into my lab, Jake. This is your lab? I don't make fun of your workshop, okay? It's a multi-purpose room. It's a couch. Yeah, I gotta answer that. Now, I know you've all read this title, and you're thinking to yourself, science. Has it come this far? And the answer is yes, it has. It truly has, ladies and gentlemen, because in the past, my alter ego, Bodybuilder versus Houston, you know, went to town on sour candies, you know, seeing how much he could eat before his mouth gave out. But in this video, I wanna cut to the root of sour. That being malic acid. Yes, malic acid is a naturally incurring ingredient in lots of fruits, and it's what gives fruits and even sour candy the sour taste in them. But how much of this raw ingredient can you shovel into your mouth before you lose all the skin in your mouth? I think this is a genuinely good question that people should know, and I will be using Finite scoops, starting at the smallest scoop, working to a, up to a tablespoon. And we're gonna find out just how much it takes for my mouth skin to be removed. Whatever you say, eight eyes. Excuse me? Sorry, four eyes. Thank you. As you guys can clearly see, I have three bags of malic acid here, two different brands. I think we're gonna start with this one because it says pure. It's all natural food grade. I'm assuming it's a quality product, and if it's not, uh, I'm gonna have a stern talking with uh, the seller. Who is? Steve. Ah, uh, okay. He's a back market malic acid dealer. Oh, that's Steve. Yeah, yeah, you know him. Come on. Let me in! Well, I'm just gonna, you know. Yeah. <laughs> I'll tell you what, Steve, your packaging needs work, okay? I barely pulled that, and look what happened. Anyways, moving on. We're gonna start with uh, one ml. Let's just see what happens, huh? How's that? That burned, but not as much as the sponsor of this video, Zydax, burns through the competition. Yeah. Is that so? Yeah. For those of you that don't know, Zydax makes the best 
custom PCs on the market, and it all comes with a lifetime warranty. So that means if your GPU blows up after one year, you are 100% covered. Zydex specializes in customization, LEDs, laser etching, paint, you name it, they got you. Also, every Zydex PC is hand built in Salt Lake, USA, with US only tech support. I've toured their facilities myself, and I must say, it's a pretty cool place. Zydex always runs extensive QC tests before they ship your system, and they're always striving to give you the best prices possible. So what are you waiting for? If you're in the market for a new PC, click the link down in my description below and get a Zydax PC today. They're great. I'm moving up. Move it on up. Move it on up, move it on up. That's right, we're moving up to the 2.5 gram scoop and I'm ready to make a deal. A deal. A deal. If I swallow this 2.5 gram scoop, you all owe me a like on this video. That's my fat arm! Oh, sorry, sorry. I forgot you Tom to gird yourself. No, I did not! That's not important. The deal has been made. The deal has been made. So let's go. All right. I will swallow. That's what. My mother said? No. Jokes on you, she did say it. No. You got it? Oh God, it's water in my mouth. See the tongue. <laughs> Fun fact, malic acid actually has a higher pH value than citric acid, but despite that fact, malic acid is more sour. That didn't seem very fun at all. But citric acid is more acidic. Malic acid is less acidic, but is more sour. That doesn't make sense, why? Oh God, my stomach. <laughs> oh no, you burned a hole in his tummy. It was worth it, because I got at least 50,000 likes in that instant. You like the video, I hope. I'm doing this for science, to, you know, for the betterment of mankind, so the least you could do is like the video, maybe turn on post notifications, and write a nice comment about how smart and handsome I am. That would be cool. Anyways, we're moving on to the next scoop. I will continue to be spitting. That does not make me a quitter. Normally spitters do, in fact, equal quitters, but this is a science experiment, so I'm not a quitter. Spitters are winners. Spitters are winners. <laughs> New saying for this video. <laughs> Spitters are winners, yeah. So this is a five gram scoop, five milliliters. Let's just see what happens, huh? Ooh, that's looking hefty. Oh, glasses are coming off. <sighs> for science. Uh. It's like I'm putting acid in my mouth. That's kind of what you're doing. <laughs> oh my god, that is so painful. Oh. And it doesn't stop. of the tiniest scoop. <laughs> now, this is just for, you know, the scientific process, so you guys know that I ain't hamming this up. I'm just gonna do a tiny scoop of the smallest scoop. That's, that's fair, that's a very small amount. Just toss it back in. It won't kill you. If it doesn't kill you, it makes you stronger. That's the scientific rule. Okay, fine. Ooh. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I could do a little bit of that. Yeah, do another one. Do a bigger scoop. Not <laughs> Come on. Toss it right back in. Okay. You can spit it out if you want. I did swallow that last yeah, one. Yeah, it's probably not a big deal. It's naturally occurring. You'll be fine. All right, all right. 
Cheers. Oh yeah, that's what I thought. Not so bad, huh? <laughs> Our spits have combined. Ah! Okay, ah! I'm gonna throw up. <laughs> you can't throw up. Come on. Uh, my dummy. Stop complaining back there, okay? I got more work to do. I don't think the skin in my mouth is dead yet. It's gonna take more. It's been trained, you know, from the previous videos I've done. So it's thick, it's thick calloused mouth skin. So I'm moving up to the 7.5 gram or 7.5 milliliter. I'm going to regret this. Every girl on their first date with, Never mind. <sighs> Big strong science man, big strong science man, big strong science man, big strong science man! Oh my god! Oh. You okay? I mean, I'm fine, but I think I literally already burnt a hole in the bottom of my tongue. I can't. Oh. That was a genuine reaction right there. Like that. That was like. Pure panic. So scary. That was the sharpest. Oh, I'm bleeding. Oh, there's a lot of blood now. Oh. Guess you'd call that a good spit take. <laughs> <laughs> the vibe is changing, Jake. Oh yeah? How so? I'm defeated. You? Defeated? I'm a scientist. I'm allowed to be defeated in this form. This isn't, you know, my peak human form. This is just a humble man before you. Now, there's already blood coming out of my mouth. You can see the in the spit bowl. You see the red? Now I do. Wait, hold on. Yep. Okay. Yeah, sure. My mouth is bleeding, which is what we wanted. Okay. Turns out, by the time I got to the 7.5 gram scoop, that's all she needed. That's all she needed to, you know, make me bleed my own blood. But the experiment must go on. Excuse you. Good lord. As I was saying, the experiment must go on. I have another kind of malic acid. It's a different brand. Will it be any different? Probably, probably not. Uh, by the way, we're going back to the tiniest scoop. Cause? My mouth is already bleeding, so. Okay. Make sure you pour it on your tongue this time. Listen, it's a powder, Jake. That's easier said than done. Just stick your tongue out, pour it on top. There you go. Beautiful. That's a lot better, right? Yeah, see, I told you. <laughs> Under the tongue, no fun. Uh oh. Oh. Back for seconds. Ooh. Another one. your words. Acid. Okay. <laughs> Don't cry. Sweating? A little bit, yeah. Just a wee bit. It's a hot spring day. It's like 63 degrees outside, so pretty toasty. Mm. I was able to just now pull off some skin off my tongue, so we're gonna see if we can do it on camera. I got a little pick here. Ew. Oh god. I just pulled off a layer of tongue. <laughs> That's a chunk of skin. Ew! No, I don't want to watch anymore. I'm out. I'm done. 
<laughs> Gross. <laughs> All right. I want to make sure this experiment's conclusive. So I'm going to throw in one more scoop. And we'll call it good. If you must, but which scoop will you choose? All right. Mighty Yellow is a good fellow. Sometimes science is pain. And pain is science. I don't go lightly into the night, but I go with a purpose. The betterment of mankind, the betterment of oral health. From this point on, we will know the exact amount of malic acid that you can consume before your tongue doesn't work anymore. I'm doing this for the people. Go on. Pocket. Oh. No. I don't know how Argy eats that. I think we learned a lot. I bought way too much malic acid, one. Two, it burns a lot. It's, it, it, doesn't, it, it doesn't take much to annihilate your, your tongue. It's a, it's a different level of pain, you know? Uh, just burning all the nerves off inside your mouth. My tongue is swollen. I'm having a hard time talk. I got a lisp. I think we were successful, but um, we will check back in in a day, maybe two, and we'll see how my mouth looks. Hopefully it looks something that we can get a thumbnail picture out of. So it's been about an hour since we stopped filming and uh, me and Jake were outside talking, enjoying the nice weather, when uh, I realized my lip is kind of swollen. Specifically my bottom lip here. I don't know why or how. Maybe because the malic acid got to the inside of my lip or something? Is my tattoo there? Yep, it's uh, visibly there. Okay, good. But my lip is definitely big. Just wanted to document this data because I think it's important knowledge for the scientific community. Once again, I'll check back in in a day or two. Whatever you say, fat lip. That's kind of me. So it's been two days since I put all the malic acid in my mouth, and I must say, the past two days have been miserable. It's been hard to talk, my lips have been swollen, my tongue's been swollen, eating's been nearly impossible, and now, all the skin in my mouth is dying. Come take a look. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. You see all that white, dead stuff in there? Yeah, that's my skin that got melted away. And take a look at this, it gets even better. Looks like fungus. Yeah, it's all dead skin that I can literally scrape off. In the past few days, as I've been trying to eat, I, like skin has been falling out and I've been chewing on my skin. So that's been fun. What do you taste like? What do I taste like? It doesn't taste like much of anything. It's kind of sad. Is, is that my flavor? Nothing? It's kind of depressing to think about, but that's not important. What is important is that we learned that malic acid is in fact an acid and will burn the crap out of your mouth. I would rate that experience a solid eight out of 10. I think I'd rather get hit with a spiked flail uh, than scorch my entire mouth because that makes living terrible. So we learned a valuable lesson here and that is to avoid a lot of sour candy because you know that has malic acid in it and also just don't dump pure malic acid in your mouth because you'll live to regret it.
Thanks, Houston. You're welcome. My mouth really hurts. Try eating ice cream. I already did a lot.